Please don't panic when you see negative exponents. They really just mean that whatever is happening is happening in the denominator. There's a 1 divided by, and then you get all this action. So half to the negative 3 times a quarter to the negative 2 times 1 over 16 to the power of negative 1, just imagine that all of that is happening in the denominator with 1 on top. So 1 over, and then you can eliminate the, the negative exponents. So it would just be 1 over half cubed times a quarter squared times 1 over 16. Now the answer choices also all have negative exponents, so it would be 1 over whatever that answer choice is, just without that negative sign in the exponent. But that makes me think that we can just focus on the denominator. Like, let's just imagine that there aren't any negative exponents here at all, and see what happens. So what do we actually have here? We have half times half times half, times a quarter times a quarter, times 1 over 16. But a quarter is itself half times half. And 1 over 16 is itself half times half times half times half. So in the end of the day, we have half times half times half, times half times half times half times half, times half times half times half times half. Times half, times half. So if we count how many halves we have here, we're multiplying half times itself 11 times. Now it's true that all of this is happening in the denominator with a 1 on top of everything, but since the answer choices are also with negative exponents, we can just go ahead and pick the correct answer choice now, which is answer choice B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.